Hello again, everybody. Uh, today I will be doing a uh, custom piece requested by some dear friends of mine, Jim and Brooke. They want something black, white, silver, metallic, abstract. So <laughs> that's what we get to do today. Here we go. What I have is a folk art metallic gunmetal gray. Folk Art Metallic Sterling Silver, uh, Mars Black, Fine Touch Mars Black, Fine Touch Titanium White, and this is a drip uh, collection from a piece that I did earlier. Uh, it's going to give just a slightly off black for them, and hopefully it will show up enough different to kind of get at least have maybe two kinds of black. And we are working on a 16 by 20. And so you can see I've already got paint all over my hands. That was from the collection of that one earlier. So what I'm going to do is the collection is going to be my base. So we'll start with that. We'll get this one spread out as much as I can. And then we'll start adding the Mars black to it. Fill in corners and areas or whatever we need there. Okay. Let's see here. I think I'm going to blow this around as much as possible. So hang with me. And there is uh, one little tip and I realized I did this in a couple of videos, but uh, if you mix your paint the night before, it gives it a chance to settle and get all those bubbles out um, on its own. Otherwise, when you pour it, if you just mix it uh, and you pour it, just expect to have some more, more bubbles to pop. But Here's one thing that I realized that I was doing in one of the other videos was as I was telling you about the bubbles and, and what I was going to do, I was mixing my paint and that mixes in, obviously mixes in air. And I was complaining about having so many bubbles, but that's what I was doing. I was actually adding bubbles while I was mixing it. So tip, once you get it done and mixed, take the uh, popsicle stick out. <laughs> Is ready to go. We will get our hair up. Paint down, hair up. Let's go. I'm going to make some corner spots. And work them around a little bit. Let's see what we can do. See what happens here. A white but we want to have hopefully a lot of contrast for this so that it is pleasing to the eye these I made uh, they are uh, just from cheapy uh, one of those uh, cutting boards that you get like at the dollar store those plastic kind of flimsy things uh, I just cut it out in different shapes and sizes this one you might be able to see it better against the painting. Um, I have different notches in it. I have a skinny one. I also have one that's just a little bit bigger than that. And then I have this one. Cut it out in whatever shape you want. Play with it. And I put the tape on here <laughs> so that while I'm working on it, I don't lose it because it's clear. I don't. It gets lost in paint on the side. So I had to put something on it so I could find it again. <laughs>
I'm gonna leave it like that and we will come back later for a close-up or potentially more if I do more and uh, then I will show you the final product. Happy painting! Okay a little update uh, as this is drying it is softening like the edges are softening even more um, I did work I worked it just a little bit uh, to get those hard white globs out of there again but I wanted to kind of give you a close-up here while we're at it and I have been uh, about every 10 some odd minutes I have been coming and, and scraping right along the bottom. Make sure I get those drips off of there. And after I have gotten rid of my gloves, <laughs> I'm not doing it with my fingers anymore, uh, I use this, that little uh, palette knife thing that came, or spatula, whatever you want to call it, that came in the uh, a Christmas pack from Michaels I want to say and it works wonders just go along the bottom here I think it's pretty much dry I probably won't get too much at this point but this is what I use I just go along the bottom with this sorry I'm trying to scrape and hold the camera at the same time <laughs> just make sure I go along all the edges so that it doesn't pull. Oops. Oh. So it doesn't keep pulling the paint down. 